So Serapi rugs are the finer Harris rugs. Like this is this is a piece I, I just bought the other day, and it's probably one of my favorites. I've been chasing it for a long time, and that happens with special rugs. You know, somebody's not ready to sell it, but you you know you keep in touch with them. And uh, finally, he was. And what I love about this one is it just has all the classic elements of a really good Serapi color design um, size is unique it's untouched so it's it's an original condition no restoration um, we haven't even washed the rug yet so when this when we shampoo and hand wash this rug it's gonna it's gonna sparkle I love the R brush these denim blue R brush quarter panels which is something that is is quite popular or like we look for um, in old Harris and Serapis these um, and we'll talk about the design elements that go into Harris and Serapi and where they came from. Again, they came from classical carpets, much finer carpets. Serapi refers to age, which is 19th century. So I don't call anything 1920 and, uh, and later a Serapi. I, I really you know, think of Serapis as 19th century rugs that are finer, detailed, and more classical, closer to the um, classical carpets, the medallion carpets, that they were kind of um, somewhat copying, but in a much more, in a, in a very different setting, again, without a cartoon, so. Um, but this one just has some wonderful lines, all vegetable dye. I put this one around, you know, between 1850 and 1880, something like that. Um, great clear reds, that's something we look for. Take a look at the weaves. <coughs> So a Serapi weave, I can put my hand in there for scale. Super fine, wonderful, you know, the drawing is very, very clear, crisp. And so um, we'll talk more about the designs when we get to a Harris, why they became curvilinear. All these motifs are floral motifs. And again, interpreted from classical carpet.